how do we really um, build, make pro craft products that people really want that inherently drive demand for a better and a, a better way of doing business, not only from a regenerative organic farming standpoint, but how we interact with communities, how we partner with suppliers, how we actually run our entire business is, is you know, this market driven regeneration. So that that is really the focus. I think when we get specific to, I would say I'll, I'll break down two components that I think are pretty interesting. One is when we think about it from a, a regenerative organic farming standpoint, to me, um, there yes, there's inherently because it's shade grown, you're in this forest ecosystem that is inherently regenerative. And we are one of the original, like we've been regenerative and just only are now as we go through the certification, getting credit for being regenerative organic. I think the powerful part to me and to the team is as we keep expanding the commitment and partnership that we have with our local communities. And, you know, on one hand, yes, we, when we buy yerba mate, we pay a 25% premium to whatever the market price is. So we make sure that in each area that we're paying 25% higher. And then separately, we have money that goes into a fund that then gets used with these communities. And But I, what I think is powerful, and especially in today's age, is the longstanding commitments and relationships that we have with these communities. And so, you know, this isn't just switching suppliers for... Uh, you know, uh, cane uh, sugar or, you know, peach puree or whatever it may be. This is working with communities for decades, right? So when I went down to South America, I think what, what really struck me was we have communities that we've been working with for decades, right? Over time, we've worked with them to build a factory, right? And so just a basic upfront processing. So now you think about it. They're not only selling the yerba mate at a premium, but now they're actually doing some processing of it, which means that employs some people, right? And then they get a you know tolling fee and, 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 and profit on top of that for running that. And now we've worked with the World Bank and the World Bank is investing a few hundred thousand dollars to finish off and build out this factory. And so now when you think about it, like somebody's got a, a you know, you've got all the offices, you know, the people kind of come kind of running it, you got the engineering, you've got the people working on the line, they own, they run and they benefit from. In addition to, We've we put water water filtration in in into their uh, community. Like we've done all the other things.